MGN. We don't play games with your YouTube gaming career. What is up everyone? Today on the show we got the big Wilbowski. Why don't you tell us a bit about yourself? Thanks, Nate. I'm Will, aka Will Boski. Actually, I get asked a lot how I came up with my name, and it's a kind of a funny story. When I was younger, I used to watch WWF a lot, and there was this character named Val Venus who named a certain uh, part of himself the Big Val Boski. So people in my school, for some reason, started calling me the Big Will Boski. So that's pretty much been my nickname ever since then and my channel actually focus uh, I like to call it hilarious gaming fun no matter what game I play I try to make it funny I want people to feel like they're sitting right next to me having a fun conversation when they're watching my video and I hope it brings a smile to their face Will you seem to be all over the place with the different types of games you play from games like destiny to pregnancy the game that's a game I actually started playing only ps4 games and doing let's plays but after a while, I got a better PC and realized how many amazing indie games there are out there and how much fun they are, and but also how little recognition they get. So that's when my channel kind of changed to covering all types of games. With all those choices, how do you decide what to do next? Well, the way that I decide what game I'm going to do next really depends on my mood. Like if I'm in a silly mood, I play a game like <laughs> the Pregnancy the Game or Gas Station Simulator. Or if I'm feeling really brave, I'll go for a horror game which is usually never turns out that well because it always ends up with me running for my life crying and not being able to sleep at night <laughs> pregnancy the game already sounds like a horror game to me do you have a favorite game my favorite genre has to be horror which is a huge change for me since I was young I used to love the platformer games like Super Mario and Pac-Man and all those types but since I started playing indie games and mostly horror ones there are so many different ways a horror game can go and you never know what to expect myself i work in radio and playing a horror game and having a radio show are kind of like the same thing you never know what's going to happen when you record a game or when the show goes live on the air that's what i love the most every game is different every reaction is different Every recording is a new adventure, and you never know how it's gonna turn out. It appears that a lot of horror games just get by with the whole jump scare routine. Of all the games you covered on your channel, what's your favorite series? My favorite series by far is easily The Walking Dead game, because it's a very serious game, but I turned it into a funny game because it turned into a, a jerk edition <laughs> as I play because I wanted to kill everyone off. I made it my mission to kill off everyone and be mean to absolutely everyone, including Clementine in the game, regardless of alliance or real actual feelings towards the characters. And it was really, really fun to rewatch and see just how ruthless I was to everyone since normally I would not like that. So it was, it was interesting to see me in a different way. Going back to the whole pregnancy the game thing, Will, what would you do if you found out that you were pregnant? Well, let's let's say first off, I would record every minute of my reaction of finding out in the days leading up to, to the birth because it turns out when you look at a lot of the videos on YouTube, those ones get a ton of views. And I would definitely name him William the Third. I tell everyone that's what I would name my first child. And then they ask me <laughs> if I'm William the Second, I say no, I'm just so awesome I'm worth two. <laughs> <laughs> which usually I only laugh at, uh, which obviously isn't true, but funny either way. <laughs> then I would get a year off work, uh, then I could record more. <laughs> Got another question for you, Will. How much Jaeger could Chuck Jaeger chug if Chuck Jaeger could chug Jaeger? Now, see, this is a trick question because we don't know the key parts of what's going on while he chugged. If he was watching one of my videos, he would probably... Uh, drink at least 240 since he would probably get sick of my bad jokes and just want to drink But if he was just chilling watching some old episodes of say Charles in charge or who's the boss He might only have one shot or two because those shows were awesome <laughs> It was sort of a trick question because Chuck Yeager is still alive at 92 and at this point there's nothing stopping him So it's really all about seeing how much he can down Maybe we should interview him next and find out and lastly will if you were a worm, how long would you be and why? How long would it be? That's what she said. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I say that all the time on my channel and you kind of set me up for it. So thanks for that. I appreciate it, Nate. But it would be cool to be like an inch or two so no one could see me or use me as fishing bait. <laughs> Truly, you are a great sage, Wabowski. With those words of wisdom, we must depart. But worry not, friends. We shall be back next week. This is Nate Zenning out.